Hello reformers and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Legends. Now as you can see we've actually been awarded two new decks. One of them is from the Skyrim set with Parthenax and I'm not entirely sure if there is another one but I think there is, isn't there? Yeah, no? Yes? No? Okay, well I'm done with that one, thank you very much. Yes, move on. Okay. Oh no, that was it. Okay, well, fantastic. That was that was all that there was. Okay, right. Anyway, attack your opponent 30 times. That's one of the quests. All right. Well, we're going to be doing that relatively soon. You and you can use your gold to purchase new card packs or enter the arena. No, I don't want to do that right now. Thank you very much. Maybe I'd like to do the solo arena at some point. I think we're probably just going to continue with the story right now. All right. Well, there you go. It is actually the Restless Dead once again. And did we fail this before? Or did I, I? I don't know, actually. I think we might have. So anyway, we are playing Dark Elfie, aren't we? We can actually use Parthenax's Raw here. Shall we use the new deck? Let's use the new deck. Why not? I think that might be quite fun. And this is obviously to, uh, sh shall we say, celebrate the expansion, which is obviously expanding into Skyrim's dragons and things like that. I think a lot of people were kind of upset that some of the dragons were four-legged or something. I'm actually unsure about what the what the scandal was going on all about, but I thought that was kind of amusing. But anyway, let's see what happens here. I sense mystical power within that altar. Perhaps it can quiet. Oh right, okay. Interesting. Okay, so we're getting these. Th oh, this is actually pretty nice. I like these. I like these cards. We're going to keep this hand. Why not? Okay, so let's have a look here. Haunting Spirit. Okay, so basically we need to kill this first, this skeleton, and then we need to kill the Haunting Spirit. But we also have this on our side, which is an Altar of Meridia. And what it can do is destroy an undead card. Now, we could use that right now if we so desired. But I don't think... I, am I going to... No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, it costs only one mana, so I suppose that is pretty decent. But I think I'm just going to use Rapid Shot and kill that. Because this has a last gasp, and it's going to basically just buff up anything in the area. So if this guy decides to play something else, then we might decide to play the altar then. But then you'd have to take into account that there might be a really, really powerful card that he'll play. No, no, it's... The, oh, he's not even attacking? Well, that's interesting. I am a bit weirded out by that, to be honest, because he didn't he didn't really need to. I mean, I'm going to kill that now because the last gasp is kind of a bit dangerous. But otherwise, there you go. Okay. Very strange that he decided... He's not playing anything? Okay. Well... We have a very easy time of things then, by the looks of things. Okay, so let's see here. Shadow Scale Partisan. Summon that if you know how to do Oh, yeah, that's actually fantastic. Let's do that. You're dangerous, there you go. Oh, yes, we have some very dangerous cards on the board right now. If he plays anything with high health, it's going to die instantly because we have two cards with lethal. And that's going to make things very easy for us. And it, it doesn't even matter because this guy he has only two health. So, yeah, interesting. When young dragonborn slays a dragon, put a random shout into your hand. After you play a shout, young dragonborn gains plus one plus one. There's also a greybeard mentor here. Draw a random shout from your deck. Summon that, okay. At the start of your turn, put a curse into your hand. That sounds like a really nice way to do it. So I'm just going to kill this. And that's, he's going to gain HP from that, which is absolutely fine, because I'm okay with him not gaining extra cards and, you know, from runes and things like that. And you never know, he could play a prophecy card, and yeah, like, for example, that. Obviously, we didn't trigger the prophecy, so that's nice, but he has a pretty large HP pool right there, so maybe we want to do something. But as you can see, we just gained a curse from our Murkwater Shaman, which is really cool. We also have Drained Vitality there as well. Now, what I could technically do is I could play... Drain Vitality and Curse, and then I could also play the Greybeard Mentor. I think I'm probably going to do that. This is a Shout, however, so if I play the Young Dragonborn first, then it's going to gain plus one, plus one. So I think we're actually going to play this first. The hunt is on. And then we're going to drain the Vitality, Gun. and that's going to gain plus one, plus one. So that's going to be a 4-3, which is going to be pretty awesome. And then... We're going to be playing a curse on that as well.
All right, so yeah, there we go. We're actually in a pretty decent position. I don't really want to use that to attack because obviously it's got, you know, three attack only. It's not going to be able to kill this. So I'm just going to kill it with the lethal. There you go. And it does no damage to our units. So we're in a really, really good position as we still have one charge of the Altar of Meridia as well. I am a child of darkness. Ooh, breakthrough and drain. That might be pretty difficult to take out, but of course we have a lethal unit, so that's not too bad. And we also have another curse there. I'm going to try and get as many curses as I can, but what I think we're going to do is just play Nimble Ally, probably twice actually. Oh, or maybe not actually, because this is not gaining lethal, so that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Oh well, never mind. It seems like I'm just going to run this into that and just kill it. My contract is fulfilled. And then we're going to play, oh, I was going to say, play the Greybeard Mentor, but it seems like I can't do that either, so I guess I'm just going to play both oh, Nimble Allies just to get mercy. something on the board, even though they're not going to get that benefit from their summon and ability you. so that's a bit of a shame he's going to gain a couple of cards here which is obviously not great but we have to get going sometime you know we have to start doing the damage oh my that is a wow that is an impressive card imprisoned death lord when an enemy creature is summoned shackle imprisoned death lord so basically we just need to continue playing things and there's parthenax now that's a 9 9 for 12 I don't know how we're supposed to get 12 Magicka. Put three random shouts into your hand and reduce their costs to zero when you summon him. So that's pretty awesome too. Anyway, I'm going to summon the Greybeard Mentor Observe. to get another shout. And we can just use Drain Vitality. This is also shackling the imprisoned Death Lord, which is fantastic. Because that means, you know, he can't do anything. So let's just drain the vitality of that mummy there. And we're going to boost up the young dragonborn yes there we go that's very nice and then we're just gonna hit him just gonna hit him hopefully the imprisonment or shall we say the shackling will still affect him uh, okay oh he's gonna silence the oh i see very interesting very interesting okay so he's silenced his own death lord so obviously he no longer has that effect on him which is absolutely fine because i can just use the altar of meridia i think that's personally kind of worth it so we're just going to do that and then we're just going to trade a little bit there we still have two curses in our hand and we're going to have a third one by the time the next next turn rolls around just looking at that card's text right there just to make sure that we're this has lethal other friendly cards in this lane have lethal as well okay so this is obviously something we need to take out reasonably quickly so we don't want it to really you know deal too much damage to us so i'm go what i'm going to do is i'm just going to trade in both the nimble allies and we're just going to use curse on one of the enemies Actually, do I? No, I don't need to trade in both. I could literally just use Curse on this and then it will die. So that's good. I could just trade in this one instead. There you go. And I think that is victory, actually. I think I could have just attacked him, to be honest. I didn't think I actually needed to do anything in regards to using Curses or whatever. But you never know. Maybe he would have gotten a Prophecy card or something like that. And he could have summoned that to protect himself a little bit. So how close are we to the next level? Not very close. Amidst the broken bones of the fallen, the hero spotted an ancient grimoire filled with the dread secrets of necromancy. There be metal with such foul magic. Ah, excellent. Okay, so we have hmm. We have some actually pretty decent cards right here. Haunting Spirit is, in my opinion, a pretty good card. If you have something else on the board, of course, but sometimes you don't. Anyway. Plea to Kinnereth. Heal all friendly creatures in a lane, then give them all plus one plus one. That is if you have an amazing amount of board control, but we might not. So I think I'm going to take the Haunting Spirit for now. Foul, yes, but strong. And those were dire times. All right, so what are we going to get? We're going to get some gold, or actually not some gold. We're going to get some soul gems, and we're also going to get a Shadowfen Priest. Another, okay, so silence another creature or destroy an enemy support. Well, obviously that's very good if you have that imprisoned Death Lord to use. 
as most people might ignore the Death Lord for the most part. Swims at night had been as good as his word. The tunnel led the adventurers straight into the White Gold Tower. This must be Lord Narofin's study. Look, the Orb of Vermina. That's how they're tracking the army. So it is. And I'd like you to step away from it very slowly. Narofin. And you are the one who escaped from my temple. Give me the orb, please. Or your friend dies now. Don't do it! The hero had to make a terrible choice. Oh my, whoa, that is, oh, that's very interesting. Okay, so we have the ability to take Tyr if we want to save him, or, or well, what, what does that mean, actually? We can choose to save Tyr, I assume, or choose to give the orb. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so the orb is a support card that costs six magicka, which is pretty large, pretty large a cost. Draw a copy of a random card from your opponent's deck. Now, in my opinion, that is maybe better. I mean, this has Prophecy, it has Guard, it has Breakthrough, which is pretty amazing, but the Orb, I don't know, I think the Orb might be really good, but then you have to take into account that using this, you might draw a one cost, you know, you might draw a one cost card or something like that. So I think I'm just gonna take Tyr, also for the fact that the story, I don't really want to sacrifice him or anything, because we've been with him for a very long time, and it would make you know, it would make it a bit disappointing if we were just to allow him to die, wouldn't it? Thank you kindly. No! <gasps> you fool! Now you will die. Lord Boethia has granted me Goldbrand, her greatest weapon. To end your miserable life. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so Tyr took the orb and then just smashed it. Oh, fantastic. That's good. All right, so at least they didn't get the orb and they also didn't get Tyr, so that's good. Anyway, we are now going to be fighting against, well, something rather large then by the looks of things. Okay, so I'm going to play with uh, Parthanax's Raw once again. I think it was a pretty fun deck. And I might try to, you know tries to try out some of the other decks as well at some point all right so what what abilities do we have to look out for here oh a nice unique sort of deck art in the background there all right so word wall that is a one cost upgrade a shout in your hand obviously i don't have a shout at the moment oh there is a shout shout level one okay so that's fantastic okay i guess i'm just gonna replace a rapid shot just in case so that we can maybe get I was going to say, maybe get a bit of a cheaper, well, minion or something that I can play. Okay, so that's a shadow lane. I guess I'm just going to place this here. I don't really see the necessity to, you know, place it anywhere else. But there you go. Okay, so we've upgraded that. And now what does that do? Unsummon an enemy creature. Level 3, unsummon all enemy creatures. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Okay, well, let's do it. He, of course, is going second, so he does have the Magicka Ring, which is very annoying. Oh my, yes, of course, he's now... Oh, wow, okay. Okay, it's steady on. Steady on, you have a very large amount of buffs, by the looks of things. That's not very good. Oh well, I don't have anything here, so I can't play it. And he's giving another... Wow. Oh, okay. Well, you're, you're doing a lot of things, aren't you? Yes, you certainly are. Well, here's the thing. We have one of the best things in our hand right now, which is, of course, this Unrelenting Shout. So I'm going to upgrade that once again, and that means that I can unsummon all enemy creatures in a lane. So, for example, if he were to decide to place My and summon, like for example, hello. that in the lane, then maybe what we can do is unsummon them both, because this is technically a 1-1 one, one as a base, and he's buffed it up to this level, so that's pretty insane. Anyway, I am probably 
Can I deal to take that much damage? Can I, can I actually, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna place Young Dragonborn right here and we're gonna take the extra damage. We're gonna take, what is it now, seven damage. Which is okay, because that will take us down to 15 HP, and that's going to give us another rune, which will, of course, then just give us more and more cards, which is, I suppose, pretty decent. And he's summoning so many things, which is even better, because now I can use Unrelenting Shout, I can buff up my Dragonborn right there, and we're going to use it. There you go. You go, you're going back. You are going back. Thank you very much. Okay, so there you go. That's fantastic. That has now buffed that up a little bit. Don't know whether it's been too late. Maybe I should have, you know, got rid of the imp almost immediately upon receiving, you know, the third magical level. But it seems like I can't do anything else. So I'm just going to start hitting him, I guess. we got to catch up a little bit. But it really depends whether he has any more of those buff cards or, or not, maybe. Okay, so obviously he's going to summon the Frost Atronac again, but we are starting to get the Dover of the Voice, which are dragons. And they're absolutely insane dragons by the looks of things, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to be placing this here, maybe? Just speak the name. Yeah, I, I guess. And we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to place that there. There we go. Alright, so... They're going to attack me for six. I don't have any other way to guard against it, so they're going to attack me for six, and that's just how it's going to have to be. I mean, I can't really do anything else, can I? Oh, he buffed them, so now we are even more damaged. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Well, I think we're okay. Draw a card if you have other... Uh, okay, right. So... Hmm... Silence another creature, then deal one damage to it. Well, it's easy to deal with these two, right? But this is not so easy, but I could theoretically play two archers gambits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the Frost Atronach first, and then we're going to kill this. And then... I guess we could play the Thieves Guild Recruit. Is is that going to work though? Wait a minute. Then it deals one damage. Okay, I, I think we, I think we're just going to play this. We're just going to play this. And that is going to then... There we go. So then we can deal one damage. Okay, so that's ranged damage. Fantastic. I actually thought that maybe it would be melee damage and it would, just, it would actually just attack, which would obviously make things pretty bad for us. But anyway, let's place that again, and then we're just going to shoot that once more. There you go. <laughs> Excellent. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to place the Thieves Guild recruit over there. I'm going to draw something. Okay, that's fine. Destroy a wounded creature. That's good. All right, so we have four... HP, which is not good, but I think that was the best way I could play that out. I mean, this is the thing, right? I really should have killed the imp immediately. That would have made much more sense, but yeah, I guess now, now you know, hindsight and all that sort of thing, I probably should have done that. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so we probably want to play one of these finally, because that's a big, big unit, and we want it to just absolutely murder things. It has last gasp as well, so that's obviously going to make things a little bit easier for us, I guess. But it really depends whether he gets like a direct damage spell or something like that. Okay, so what's that? Equips the two highest items in your discard pile. Are you serious? Oh, okay. Well, and that's shackled that. Wow. Wow. Well, that's... I think, I think I'm done then. I think I'm done. I don't think I can do anything else. Unless I can deal some da Oh, summon another creature, then deal one damage to it. That's exactly what I need, but I'm not entirely sure if I can target this. Can I target this? I can. Excellent. That's exactly what we need. Fantastic. Okay, so then I can use this. And I can just kill it. There you go. Alright. 
<laughs> like, that's the best I that's the best I got. That's the best I got. I can't really do anything else, I don't think. I mean, there's no, nothing with guard here. I mean, I could have used the Skuma Racketeer, but obviously I couldn't play these two because they were both basically just waiting. You know, they were waiting to, to play and all that sort of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, we lost. We lost because they had, we had just so many buffs. Oh, yeah, and we shouldn't have allowed that imp. That was the main problem there. We shouldn't have allowed the imp to get so much damage in. That was the biggest issue. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.